This one can cook a really good breakfast and a really good salmon. This one can cook a really good omelet and mm. that's a lot of, that's really all I have. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's your girl Emily Kerr with iHeartRadio, and today we're hanging out with multi platinum trio Shade, Chelsea, Spencer, Max. What's up, guys? What's up? What's up? So nice to see you all. I was just telling Chelsea the last time before we saw you guys was at our iHeart Festival Alter Ego in LA, and that was like the last big trip. And I remember it so much because we all played Operation, and I think Chelsea, you were really intense about the game. I was, I feel like I got. I got a good, like, I got the wishbone or the rubber band or something, I crushed that. Yeah, I love, we love games. And I remember you guys were also in the process of moving, kind of what we just talked about. How did all the moves go? Are you guys settled in new spots? Everything's good? Spence and I found a house before quarantine hit. Max found a house before quarantine hit. And we kind of moved all of our stuff during quarantine, so it gave us a little bit of something to do. But we yeah. are all settled and, you know, ready. We're we're in, our yeah. house. We're in our house right now, actually. It's I our know. living room, so there you go. I mean, the trees are so nice. I feel like that's yeah. got to be like nice and calming, too, especially. Yes. I mean, you're still creating music. Let's talk about your yes. new song, No Other Way. I love this song. Tell us about this one. How did it come to life? Chelsea and I were quarantining with her parents at the time. Max was pretty much coming over every day. And, you know, we were feeling anxious, stressed, and we just wanted to write a song that kind of reminded us to live in the present. You know, we're still so fortunate to make music, and um, we also kind of just wanted to have something fun that we could dance to. So really, that's that was the inspiration for the song. And yeah, that's about it. You know, and you said, you touched on it now, you, these last six months have been anxiety-inducing and stressful, and yeah. for all of us, in so many different capacities, so many ways, how have you all personally been dealing with the stress and anxiety that this year has brought? I think just being able to be in our space and kind of you know continue working on music being support systems for each other um you know i think that that has been really really helpful and again moving took a lot of things off of our mind it was just like kind of we were able to get in the groove and now we have this beautiful space we all love being in and just finally having time to just work on an album really because the last two years since trampoline has just been a whirlwind and we were ready to go back on another like international tour and then obviously everything quarantine happened and you know we were super stressed out initially and we, you know it's still very concerning obviously but we were able to just you know hunker down and, and create like a full album so that's been the silver lining for us yeah mm -hmm. I want to talk about the album, but before that, you, you mentioned Trampoline, which was such a huge song, such a global success, one of my favorites. What sort of pressure, if any, do you feel creating new music, like creating an album? Did that song sort of guide the way into music that you're now creating, or how did that impact it, or did it not? I'm curious. I think initially when we started writing after Trampoline, we definitely had the pressure to come up with the next, next best, best thing. You know, we wrote Trampoline in like a rental house, in, it, in our studio, you know, just kind of on a random day, nothing was planned. And we didn't know that the song was going to do what it did. Mm -hmm. And so I think just right now when we write, and always when we write, I guess, we're just really trying to just get back to our roots. Just the three of us writing um, in our own studio, in our own house, and just like being really true to ourselves and writing about things that we really care about and stories about us. Going off that model of, you know, just doing our thing and being confident with that for sure yeah it's interesting too because i feel like this time has made me realize how important environment is you know especially when you're at home and you're creating in there you know when you think about getting your new places and your new houses was it a huge priority to find a place that you could have a studio or some sort of creative room or you know and, and how did you go about creating something like that up until now we've just been creating music in our rental house and and you know there was a great view in the backyard but i think we really wanted to have a space that we could see outside. I think our connection to, to nature and just feeling like not closed in is really important when you write. Mm. Um, so the studio has a really nice view. And in addition to that, like we write a lot of songs. We have a piano right here. Um, our living room opens up to some really pretty uh, trees and everything. So that's definitely, I'd say, was a huge priority when we were looking for places. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I live in a townhouse in DC, so I <laughs> have a different have experience. 
<laughs> of having a studio there, but luckily I'm only like 30 minutes. So I spend like half the week here and half the week at home. Oh, that's so nice that you guys are yeah. so close. Yeah, it's great. Um, okay, so let's go back to the album. I'm so excited for new music. What can we and what can fans expect from the new music that you're creating right now? <laughs> you're like, who's going? Sorry. You Personal, sorry, you sorry, we're all really excited about it. One thing that is new um, from anything else that we've put out before is we're incorporating like a full piece, like a 13 piece string section, like orchestra on all over what? the album. Yeah, so we had one song, the second single coming out is called Once Upon a Time. We knew we wanted strings on the song, so we ended up using a northern northern Macedonian string section to record on. What? So, I know, I know, it's it's wild. It was, it's but it's we, amazing. Yeah, so we we basically did the session over Zoom. We had like an arrangement that we worked out with this guy Jarek, who's super talented, and um, he found this Macedonian string section, and it was like in a beautiful studio over Zoom. They were all wearing masks, but it was just incredible and so now that we've done we had that first one we ended up putting strings on no other way and we're putting strings over like like the majority of the album now so that's one so new we're very thing. excited about that so is this going to be like a whole different vibe and sound of an album not necessarily i mean i think everything is an evolution like mm -hmm. uh, you know everything that we write like yeah. we're just like constantly evolving but i mean i feel like it's still very true to us but um maybe a little bit more different yeah yeah. More. yeah, I think Trampoline, we did, because that song connected with so many people, I think that was a good launching place for us. Mm. So sonically, there are definitely similarities, but just adding like real strings to our music just felt so right. And I think it's been a really nice sonic like addition to our, our whole sound. And now you mentioned that before, obviously, the pandemic happened, you were all going to be on a tour. And that obviously didn't happen. But I want you to just picture a world where, you know, a couple months, however long down the road, you're out touring again, you're playing to a sold out show, everyone's singing the song back to you. Where do you envision you're on stage at? Where are you most looking forward to play? Oh my gosh. Um, well, our hometown venue of the 930 Club, which we love so, so dearly, um, that would be incredibly cool to go back there. We all met at the 930 Club, so it's just like a really special, special venue for us and we love playing there. Maybe also like Japan was super cool. Yeah, Japan was seeing cool. like a whole sea of people in Japan singing our song Trampoline was pretty mind blowing, honestly. So that would be really fun to get back there and, and share this new music and with, with them. Yeah. Amazing. Before we let you go, I think it's time that we play a little game called Who Knows Who Better. And I know you guys know each other really well at this point. <laughs> so the way this game is gonna work is I'm gonna give you a scenario, you're gonna close your eyes. Once I give you the scenario, you point to the person that you think it most aligns with, then you can open eyes and see who got that point. Okay. Sound good? Okay. All right, so eyes closed. I guess you can point to yourself, right? Point to yourself too, or are we just doing? Yeah, you can point to yourself. Okay. okay. Yeah. Right. Okay, first scenario. Who takes the longest to get ready? Okay, you can open your eyes. <laughs> it was unanimous. Okay. It's him. It's definitely me. He takes the longest no matter what and it annoys me. What's it what's the longest part of your process? I just never know where my like wallet is or like my keys. I just like misplace everything. I don't know. I'm pretty bad at that. But. <laughs> All right, okay. eyes eyes closed, second scenario. Okay, good. Okay. Who is the best cook? <laughs> Chelsea! <laughs> Takes it all. Is that a no doubt, no brainer? Really? No brainer. This one can cook a really good breakfast and a really good salmon. This one can cook a really good omelet, and mm. that's a lot of. That's really all I have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Scenario number three. Okay. Between Spencer and Max, who got into more trouble as a kid? <laughs> Okay, unanimous again. You can open your eyes. Again, a no-brainer. You're taking long to get ready. You're getting in trouble. Rough. Yeah, I was I was a little crazier than, than them growing up. <laughs> That's so funny. It's not looking good for me over here. <laughs> Alright, a few more. Who is the most messy? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. It's unanimous again. <laughs> this is bad. Like what good qualities do I have? It's just like, yeah. I mean, like let, let me say that. When They're both very messy. Oh, really? Married, really? Okay. When we got married, though, things changed. I had to like step up my game. Right. Love that. Love like, that. Chelsea, you know get I mean? it in shape. Yep. I need clean, crazy freak. So I'm like, with this. So it's pristine in the house. 
<laughs> you're cooking, you're cleaning. My, my house is clean though, you better see my house, it's pretty good. Too, guys. Sure. I think my house is cleaner than I did when we were all running at home today, that's for sure. That's fair. All right, two more. Who is the funniest? Mm. Ooh, this one's tough. No one's making moves yet. How do you do uh, uh, across the board? <laughs> <laughs> it's just everyone. I feel like yeah. everyone's equally funny. Okay, okay, we'll take that. All right. We're, we're funny in our own interesting, weird ways. Yeah. I would say. Okay, that's fair. All right, <laughs> last one. Who makes the best playlist? <laughs> Unanimous on that one too. Chelsea, yeah. let's go. Okay, okay. <laughs> I love it. Shay, thank you guys so much for being here. It's so fun. Thank you and so much, Emily. Really so nice to see it. you guys. Yeah. Hopefully yeah. next time, it's real life. You guys are at the iHeart studio. Yes. It's going to be so fun. Like that. Oh, can't wait. But can't we're wait. so excited for you guys. Congrats on all the new music. Everyone watching stream No Other Way out now. And uh, yeah, Shay, we'll see you guys again soon. Okay, Bye. Can't wait. Bye. 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 Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to stream Shade's new song, No Other Way, out now on iHeartRadio. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Did you like that video? You can check out more over here. And don't forget to subscribe to iHeart right here. And if you're already a longtime fan, make sure you ring the bell down below so you don't miss a single video. Bye guys.